Welcome back to Stranded Dreamscapes, The Prisoner. Time for us to explore the next major area of the game. What is this place? It's not from any part of Emmy's mind. I think it's from mine. I avoided this creepy construction site as a kid. What is it doing here? I bet fake Emmy extracted this scene from your memory to try and scare you away. She did, huh? She'll have to do better than this to scare me. No, oh, she'll do better than this. Uh, trust me, <laughs> it will get scarier. You don't want to know where this pit leads. All right, so I'm going to grab this, and I need a fishing tool to grab that. Oh, just got fishing line. Well, that's convenient. I'm going to grab this glove. I need something to pry that off. I'm going to have to cut this and use a gas mask, because there's gas on the other side. And let's see. I think that's it for this screen, right, Barry? Yep. You're right, Barry says, right, let's move on to the road. Ah, we have a hidden object challenge here. Okay, a uh, newspaper. All right, hey, maybe I should be in a newspaper. A local man plays video game. Not with me, a boring newspaper, I bet. Ah, uh, let's see, I need a crown. I need some tongs. Ah, that's, that's the important item we're gonna be finding, those tongs. So I think that's the item we're gonna take away from this scene. Everything else we're just gonna throw back, like, oh, I don't need that. Okay, I need a bat, I need a mushroom, and an anchor. Ah, here you go, Barry. Help me out here. That was a mushroom. Okay, sure. That could be a mushroom. An anchor, boots, and a brush. I don't see any of these items. Oh, hey, I found boots by accident. Ah. <laughs> I like solving puzzles by accident. That could be part of my uh, newspaper story. Local man solves... Puzzles by accident while playing video game. Everyone shocked and amazed. Oh, there's the brush. Oh, man, can't find brush and hit an object scene. Everybody is ashamed. Okay, we need to get a battery from that creature, so we're going to use it to fix this machine. And we need to destroy that ice before we can move on ahead. And let's see, after weeks of steady improvement, this patient has experienced a severe decline. We can't determine the cause for this change, Dr. Wheeler. So monthly treatment report for E. Wheeler. That, that's Emmy, right? That's Emmy's mom. A note from Emmy's mom to... Uh, about Emmy, about Emmy. So now that we have the fishing line, and we have the hook, we put those two things together to create a little fishing line. And this gives us the ice axe. We can use that ice axe right over here. Barry's a smash! <laughs> yes, he's a smash hit. Helen, can you hear me? Your mind is blending with Emmy's. You need to leave now before it gets worse. No, it's fake Emmy causing all of this. She's altering the dreamscape to frighten me. What are you talking about? You have merely encountered her alter ego. We all have a darker side, Helen. I only know one thing for sure. That was not Emmy. Over and out. Yeah, that evil monster is clearly not Emmy. Em Emmy is just a little kid. She doesn't have a dark, evil side. Does she? I don't know. Let's use the hook and line here to grab that flute. It's not a flute, it's a trumpet. We'll find a handle at the top of this tower. Whoa! Oh! Oh! Did you see that? I thought I saw her there. My eyes must be tricking me. Let's grab this, let's grab this, and let's open this. We're gonna have to uh, get some fresh charcoal to fix this and melt something that smells like steak. So the trumpets go here. It looks like we need one, two more, two more, maybe three more? Anything else left here, Barry? Barry says we can go backwards. Alrighty, I didn't check this out earlier. We can pull this, it's not gonna work. Yeah, <laughs> it, it doesn't work. Let's see. Oh, yes. Uh, no, not the fire poker. Wait, yes, the fire poker? Fire poker destroys this. It opens a lid, and we're going to put motor oil on it. And does it work? No, no, no. We need electricity before this thing will work. That's a shame. I think I need to grab that log. The log is actually going to be used here. Oh, that's part of fixing it. Log gets used here. This is a machine that builds trumpets. And we just had a puzzle that needs a bunch of trumpets. So that's very convenient for us. 
let's go up the tower stairs. Oh, what are we doing here, Barry? Barry says we needed to look at the door and pull out this nail. That's right. Silly mistake on my part. So we pull out the nail. We're going to use it here along with this rock. It's going to secure this board. That way Barry can go across. He's grabbing a connecting wire and a knife. Very dangerous knife. Looks like we need the rest of the mailbox handle before we can go anywhere. So, the connecting wire goes here. And then the repair kit goes here. And now it should be repaired so I can pull that lever. It gives power to this machine. Pull this lever. And, oh my gosh. This is a very difficult puzzle. I'm not entirely sure how you're supposed to solve this puzzle. I think maybe you're supposed to get these two, like, tall side-by-side -side pieces next to each other. Or maybe you're supposed to get these two side-by-side -side pieces next to each other. It's... It's difficult to tell. Yeah, see, see those two pieces are blocking each other. This one can't go up, that one can't go to the side. So let's try again. This piece here and that piece there and that piece there. These two pieces like this. This piece all the way down. These two pieces to the right. These pieces up. And that way the two by two pieces are next to each other. Great, I can move those pieces down, so I can move these pieces right, right above them, and then move this big wheel one right. These two small pieces behind the wheel, this one left, this one left, this is going to go left and down. This might be it. Left, no, that goes down and left, and I'm moving these pieces down. To the right, these two pieces are going to fill in the gap behind it. I'm sort of moving things in a clockwise fashion. I hope that explanation makes sense rather than me just mumbling about, well, this left, this down, this right, this left, this down, this right. Yep, that's the solution. That's got to be it. Please. So it looks like the solution was that the two up and downs, up and downs, and then the two left and rights next to each other. That was it. So that way they fill up the entire left-hand side of the board, basically, in your solution. And you can move these small, we've got five pieces that are one by one pieces. Move those small pieces around more easily than you can move those two by one pieces. There we go. Puzzle solved. Okay, that gives me the second crystal and takes us to a scary location. I had a feeling she'd use snakes. I hate them. Welcome to the club. Ah, uh, yeah. I hate snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? Okay, so our item we are finding is frozen meat. That's the item we need to find on this screen. You're going to melt it on that area that needed some uh, that that smelled like meat. That's what we're gonna that's where we're gonna use it. Okay, so we need to find a saw and a scorpion and a pickaxe and all sorts of good things like that. So find the hero. And where is that pickaxe? Right here. Alright, so I'll go back and uh, meat thing in a moment. We need to finish this. We need to fix that because there are snakes behind it. We're going to grab this. This is another trumpet and this is going to be a clue for a puzzle once we find gem number three. So over here is a passage. We're going to grab this. We need to fix that gas mask and we need to put a token here. Gave us a gauge. It's a creepy item. I, I don't even know what that thing is, but it, it will give you items. It will give you items. I need to find something to put in the snake to fix this area. 
and I need to get rid of this. Yeah, and uh, that should open the door. I know I just said mumbly, 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 use item on item, and then there's there's also other items. But trust me, that's that is what we are doing. Alright, back in the pit. What are we doing here in the pit? Ah yes, we're cutting this with the knife. You see there is toxic gas. This poison gas! Cover your mouth. Alright, we put the gauge back here, and we still need that battery from the crow. I believe that's what this frozen meat is for. Oh, but we need to find a way to restart re restart the grill. So, to do that, we have another hidden objects challenge for this sack of coal. Because cold, I mean, cold is what you use to start the grill. So let's find all these items, shall we? A needle, a sword, an apple, and a torch. The torch, there's an apple, a needle, and a bottle. A needle and a bottle, yes. Dragonfly paper plane should be easy to find there. I noticed a couple of items regularly appear on the hidden objects screen. Uh, paper airplane being one of them. Right, here. We're gonna use a fire poker as well. I think we're gonna cut this defrosted meat. You don't need all of it, you just need some of it. And guess what? It had the flag. We put that inside meat. It's weird. Well, that gives us a lens for the gas mask, and once we get a butterfly, we'll be able to open up that. Alright. Meat strip over here. <laughs> Gave us that battery, put the battery in place, and we should have our final trumpet. That was pretty cool. Gonna take a detour though in the secret passage to fix this. It's a gas mask, and like how Barry's like, are you gonna wear that all the time? No, Barry, I'm gonna use it on the poison gas. So what's beneath the canvas? I think I need to finish cutting it. Grab those two items. I need to find something to plug this before I can mess around with that broken wrench. The wrench is gonna need two items. All right, so the clay plaque goes here. We're gonna put three pieces into place. We only have one of them. Wait, didn't we put the center piece in place? I guess four pieces in place. Okay, creepy monster gave us the item for the other side of this door. Now let's go back here. We have two trumpets, so we're gonna put the trumpets in place for another puzzle, which is kind of tough, but it's not as tough as that previous puzzle, so I will not complain. I think with this puzzle, you're either gonna wanna start on the right-hand side or, or the left-hand side. Let's start with the right-hand side, shall we? All righty then. So the right-hand side needs to be all of uh, these notes, these yellow notes. Excellent. So let's try to move a yellow note into place. I'm just trying to get this yellow note, this one right here. I'm trying to get it to move. Moving it farther to the right. This one here. This piece here. I can move this yellow into place. And hey, this yellow into place. And hey, I think I could just move these yellows into place as well. Yeah, that looks good. That looks great. Let me move these pieces out of the way. That noise was the hint button with Barry turning on. Because I've taken too long to solve the puzzle. Thanks, Barry. Thanks for the confidence. He's like, hey, you, you, you're kind of struggling a bit, right? Don't you want to stop? No, Barry, I've got this. Really simple now. So now that the right-hand side is completely done, all I have to do is move things a little bit, get this left-hand side done, and move things into the middle column. Yep. Yeah. See how 
don't mind puzzles like that, where I know what I'm doing the whole time with Is that big this slider. from your mind? Giant towers? Cave cities? What's next? Dragons and mushroom trees? Could be. <laughs> I read tons of fantasy books when I was little. There's your problem. You should have read about beekeeping. He wanted me to read about beekeeping so he could get honey, because he's a bear. Get it? <laughs> no, I, I, I was saying that slider puzzle, I had no idea what I was doing the whole time. But with the trumpet puzzle, I totally know what I was doing. Okay, so this is from Sullivan. Uh, saying, hey Mary, I know you're upset about your daughter, but I've been working on this just as much as you have. We need to try a deep cerebral adjustment, a DCA. So presenting her DCA test results in Stockholm will fund her research for the next year. Please reconsider some of it. All right, I'm grabbing that necklace, and I need to put the four bird tokens in place there. That will give me the password to open up that. This is a machine. It shows how to make another one of those devices that we got. And this is the wooden gear. So I think close to the end of this segment. This goes here. And this goes here. Lights up these three three tiles and open the door to the shrine. Alright. Okay, so I will end this video here. Let me talk a little bit about what I mean by uh, segments. So, uh, this game is split up into four different parts of two chapters each. I'm not going to follow the chapter divisions exactly, but I am going to have eight videos in this video walkthrough. So, at the end of Video number two, I finished chapter number two. And at the end of the next video, I'll finish chapter number four, which just perfectly aligns with those raven statues. These ones right over here. So that, that just happens to be where the uh, chapter ends. So that's where chapter four ends, and that's where my next video will end, with us unlocking the raven statue, which gives us access to the third area of the game right over here. Looks like we still have uh, one more room, one more room to explore here. Oh, two. We've got two more screens to explore here on the left-hand side of the map.